and I'd be walking around and um, I'd hear stewards saying, oh, she's here, oh, that bit on the side, look at her, she's here, like, look at what she's wearing. And, you know, being very, I just would have to, I learned to just stand there and not say anything. The journey to get to where I am today, I'd say it's had its ups and downs. Worked in fashion, um, I've done a postgraduate diploma in legal practice as well as my LPC, I'm a qualified lawyer, but I'd never worked in football before um, and let's just say it was um, quite shocking what happened to me when I first um, entered into the professional world of football. My reception when I entered the world of football was a little bit cruel. I don't think there'd been very many women before. So it was before the 2012 um, Olympics where Jessica Ennis had done really well there and became the poster girl um, of British sport, I'd say. Before then, women were very much marginalised. We didn't have coverage. Um, we weren't commentating on sport. We just weren't visible at all. I was 29 years old worked very hard all my life my education was great you know my cv was pretty good but because i have blonde hair do look quite young all these things just were pitted against me i was basically a caricature of the world of football they completely discredited any of my education any of the things that i'd worked so hard to achieve growing up just because you're a woman shouldn't it shouldn't stand in your way. We were playing a particular team and we were sat in the stands where they put the directors and the whole crowd, I think we were winning at the time um, and football is very emotive and I get that. The uh, other side were shouting the most awful obscenities at me. They were throwing bottle tops. It was just being in the middle of a mob. <laughs> it was really intimidating. These kind of things, seemed to happen quite often. I'd be walking around and I'd hear stewards saying, oh, she's here, oh, that bit on the side, look at her, she's here, like, look at what she's wearing. And, you know, being very, I just would have to, I learned to just stand there and not say anything. I get banter. It's not that I'm, you know, very sensitive. There's a difference when, you know, you, it's almost targeted abuse based on gender. We've got a women's football team here at Mansfield. Um, the previous owner actually kicked them out and said we don't want a women's football team within Mansfield Town. When I came into the role, I was like, okay, so there's a, a men's football team, that's great. Uh, where are the women? <laughs> and that was really important to me to make sure that, you know, there was diversity definitely within this football club. I think you've got to take it back to the fact that football was banned for women for 50 years, which is unbelievable really. So when I was at school, I'm 36 now, um, football wasn't on the curriculum and uh, now it is and it, I know that it's played um, in junior schools that females can play but for, for me as a woman it wasn't available. I've been involved now probably coming up to nearly 10 years. During that time I've noticed a change um, in perceptions within football and it's great that we're encouraging more females across the board uh, because it's a very different place now than it was 10 years ago. It's very important to give women the opportunity to be visible in whatever roles they're doing within the football industry. The football club for me is more involved within its community. It was very much down on its knees when we took over. Now we are a huge part of Mansfield and the surrounding areas. And I think when a football club does well, the whole town can be lifted. I think being a woman involved in football has made me want to succeed even more, to be able to prove to people that I can do the job and to be able to prove to my children and you know future generations that women can be involved and can do an equally good job um, in their role as men do. Women should not be sidelined. We should be an inclusive part of lots of male dominated industries. I'm so pleased now that we are highlighting the fact that we don't want to be in the corner anymore, that we do want to be out there doing our jobs uh, regardless of what gender we are. And we can do a great job at that as well.